Kinnick Stadium was almost filled, but right here, a special place, Bryce Jordan. Well, knocking on 16,000 every time they bring in an opponent like this. Two years ago, let me see, Morgan McIntosh, 20 no record, number one ranked wrestler in the country. But two years ago, you know, we, we talked about how this be could, could become one of the better rivalries in the sport. You know, and, and uh, fingers, fingers. I don't think this is over with. You know, this these programs are going to be battling for, for for a decade at least. You know, as far as they're they're going back and forth, the recruiting bases these guys have, the coaching staff, the cultures that they're developing, and it's so refreshing in wrestling to see something beyond just the, our our old traditional uh, you know border and and uh, long time rivalries in the sport. It's nice to have this being added and. And, you know, we talked two years ago when they came here, and that's when uh, uh, Ohio State got beat by Penn State really bad. I mean, they got run out of the gym. Logan Stever got beat by Rutherford, and, and it was the week after the Vegas tournament, which is never a good time to probably have a road trip a week after the Vegas meet. But, the, uh, uh, you know, Ohio State has come and, and wrestled here and competed, you know, pretty well, and you can see where... I think that's just that star power. I mean, both these lineups have star power written all over them. Josh Fox, the 197 pounder for the Buckeyes, filling in for Mark Martin, who's still suffering a little bit from uh, his uh, um, knock on the head at, uh, in the Illinois uh, match. They did have to take a break and go through the test for concussion. He did was able to finish and win the match. But he is not quite ready uh, for tonight's action. Should be back next week or so. I talked. To, we talked about Hunter Stieber not being in a match. He had twin Tommy John surgery. And um, when you pull and you work out, you get inflamed in those elbows. And that's what was happening here with Hunter Stieber as well. And it wasn't the right time to bring him back for the Buckeyes at 149. So injuries keeping a couple of the regulars out for Ohio State. So Josh Fox steps in against the number one ranked. McIntosh out of Acton, California. Calvary Chapel High School. Nice high crotch there, Tim. Mm, nice so. cut off. Two points for the number one ranked undefeated, Morgan McIntosh. Very clean shot there. And he's always had the skills in the top position. to be able to control a man. You know, last year's Big Ten champion. You know, get the world champion in the weight class. <laughs> Big Ten champion. And we're talking about Kyle Snyder, youngest ever American to win a world championship. Internationally, he's the freestyle world champion. He's also, he's still ranked number one in the world. He is ranked number one in the world and wrestling for the Buckeyes. He's coming up next, Kyle Snyder. And sophomore for Ohio State. And that's one thing that uh, you're, I wouldn't say never, but you're likely not to see is that uh, Kyle Snyder down at this weight class again. I think he's getting very comfortable with the fact that he's going to be a, a big man for the Buckeyes. McIntosh out in front 2-0. So many exciting things going on in wrestling. That's why you should go to nr4w.com and be one of the uh, over 100,000 wrestlers signing up uh, to show that you support wrestling. And let's go to one of the greatest supporters of wrestling, our own Shane Sparks. All right, TJ, well, we've talked about it a little bit during this duel. With these kind of programs, best in the country, it's the next man up. You're expected to compete. It's an opportunity. We saw that with Morelli at 165 for Penn State. We're seeing that here with Fox uh, for Ohio State tonight. He's yet to win a Big Ten match, spelling Mark Martin, but he competes hard. A few weeks back against Aaron Studebaker of Nebraska, kept it to a regular decision, and in these kind of duels, that's really important. Save every point. Again, he's looking for that first Big Ten dual meet victory. It'll be a tough task tonight against a top-ranked McIntosh. TJ? Good reporting, Shane. Thanks for all the work that you do and the information you bring to us on the sidelines. And McIntosh. Shakes him off and gets two for reversal over Fox. Out in front 4-0. Fox out for one. Escape. <laughs> there are some of these weight classes in the, in the, the Big Ten Conference that you, you're going to catch maybe if you, wow. spelling for somebody. Nice high crotch and to cut the corner with that. But if you're spelling somebody for four or five matches, you might meet you know four of the top ten guys in the country. Exactly. Neutral center. 
Josh Fox meeting the number one ranked wrestler in the country at 197 here in Morgan McIntosh. He's been special since he stepped on the campus of Penn State over four years ago. Looking to try to get to the top of the podium for the first time and right now, if it all stays this way, he'll be the number one seed. He's the number one ranked wrestler in the Intermat National Rankings. I was also talking about NR4W, the National Registry for Wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan, go there, sign up, show the world how many fans we have. NR4W.com, Morgan McIntosh, another takedown for two. Yeah, just picking apart Fox at this stage. Still probably has plenty of time to go ahead and get another one if he chooses to do so, so. It just starts as a trickle, then it starts as a flow, and then pretty soon it's, it's, it's gushing as far as, you know, offense goes. And now McIntosh coming up front. 25 seconds left, and Penn State on their way to representing the Big Ten in the NWCA Division I National Championship duels. They'll be right here at Penn State, 5 o'clock Eastern, Sunday, February 21st, live on the Big Ten Network. Who they'll wrestle, we don't know yet. Right now, it's North Carolina State in the lead, but they've got to go through Missouri, Virginia Tech. Could it be Oklahoma State? It's going to be the highest-ranked non-Big Ten team going up against the highest-ranked Big Ten team. And then also seven other Big Ten teams will host those dual championships streamed on BTN+. Plus. Big day, big weekend, Saturday and Sunday, February 20th and 21st. Be right back here. And Bryce, or probably uh, Rec. Rec Hall for um, the National Dual Championships live on the Big Ten Network with Penn State. Looking like they are going to be the representatives on the Big Ten side. You know, McIntosh just has one of those championship styles. You know, closes out the period in the top position and ends up you know, Go has, has, has varied attacks. He's pretty confident where, where he is right now with regard to this match, but you know he's always been able to attack below the knee. That's been an asset for him. And then these go behinds dropping in on the leg. Good chain wrestler. Major decision in the works for McIntosh out in front, 13 to five. Less than a minute left, and he keeps. Look how he cuts the corner, and if he really want to, you know, you know, break it down, when he gets to the leg, his his he's going shoelaces flat, he's jumping them around. So look at how he gets it, like, makes a great angle right there. A lot of times, guys just get in there and freeze, and they try to go ahead and do it all with their upper body. He's setting up that finish here by attack, and he does it the same thing with this position. See how he gets up in a good athletic position and. Not much contest at this that stage with that technique, but you know he knows what to do. You know after the penetration, he knows what to do with those finishes. Good work, always working from a friendly angle. Tough duty for the fill-in, Josh Fox going up against the best in the nation, undefeated Morgan McIntosh, and uh, with this takedown. He's going to get 23 to 9, and with riding time, 24 to 9. It's a tech fall. Five points on the board, and the Nittany Lion fan base greatly appreciative. They know the kind of effort that just McIntosh just put in. He knew where he was. He knew one. He wanted to get every extra point he could.